Well, hello everybody. This is another video from KTG Zone. What do we have today? Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to do a Persian Town Center Rush. It's not the best game that I've played, but you know, I've tried it against a moderate computer. Maybe you can try it against a hard computer. So what's a Persian Town Center Rush and why is it Persian? Why can only the Persian do it? Well, if you look at the health points of the town center of a Persian, it is 4,800. So that's double than any any other double than any other civilization on the map. Excuse me. So you know we can do it only with Persians. It is that simple. So let me look at my enemy over here, the computer. Oh, he's playing as Incas. Doesn't really matter as long as he's not playing with the Persians. So I've chosen the safe for the computer, obviously. Otherwise, sometimes, you know, they mirror it and they play with Persians and I'm screwed. So standard build order, I have to be really, really fast. You know, so I'm going to fast forward a bit, collecting sheep, scouting for more sheep, scouting for boar. And once you, you know get all your food scouted in your base, it's very important to scout your enemy's base. You need to know where exactly you're going to put your down center down. Okay, so that even if your enemy attacks it, he's not going to win it. You know, that's the health point 2400, and your health point is 4800. So obviously. Persians are the civilization due to a town center rush. I'm not really going to talk about the map because this video is all about all about knowing how to do a town center rush. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward a bit. Standard build order, four and a half minutes. I'm still collecting food. I've got one villager who's doing the lumber. I'm sure there are better ways to do it, but this is one of the ways. Letting your sheep decay is certainly not one of the ways. <laughs> Okay, let's see, 14 villagers, 5 and a half minutes, not the best start, but pretty decent. You can see the computer is also collecting boar, that's because it's forgotten empires and uh, the new AI knows how to lure the boar. The old AI had no freaking cool clue. Okay, so 6 and a half minutes, have I done anything drastic? No, I haven't, I've sent 4 villagers to Lumba. I have sent three to four edge rest are all collecting food. Let me see how my scouting has been. He's still looking for for what? I really don't know. <laughs> By now I should have scouted my enemy because while I click feudal age, I'm going to start making my villagers leave the base and move towards the enemy base. Okay, so let's see. Seven and a half minutes, 20 villagers. I think I'm playing a fantastic game. And I've moved a lot of villagers to wood now. You can see that. And all these villagers, except the one who's already hurt, are going to move towards the enemy base. Walk towards the enemy base, rather. Some freaking wolf is irritating my dear lady. Okay. You can see a lot of them on forage and a lot of them on wood so nine minutes I'm yet to scout the enemy which is not the best thing in the world to do you know by now I should have scouted the enemy if you're going to do a town center rush you should have scouted the enemy so 23 villagers 196 food I'm going to cut a lot of food from this forage bush okay Idle villagers, not good, not good. Feudal age has been clicked. The villagers have started moving. If you notice, I'm not taking any villager who are low on health. They've started walking, it's 10 and a half minutes. It's in the middle of feudal age. I've scouted the computer space and I know where exactly to put my town center. Or probably not yet. <laughs> I haven't still scouted the town center which would be probably somewhere over here I guess my villagers 
you can see they don't walk together like the army does they're pretty wild <laughs> so feudalage gone almost villages are in his base don't really try, try this with a human opponent till you master it you know because human opponent can wall this area or start attacking your villages but if you have so many I have five and around twelve villages who have come in who are waiting for the feudal age research to be done let's see feudal age feudal age done this town center will be deleted right away one two three no not yet poor game I have to say <laughs> I've seen this town center I'm gonna delete this town center now there you go and I'm gonna create the new town center right over here right over here there you go he's gonna try attacking with his villagers but it's not a smart idea you know attacking with his villagers because I'm going to finish my town center ah, I'm just going to finish my town center anyhow anyhow so I think it's better to work towards other goals like you know protecting your base there you go almost done almost done and bam put all your villagers inside you know 10 is the maximum number of villagers you can put inside your town center you can put more than 10 but the number of arrows the town center fires is going to be the same okay so what's the target next don't kill villagers just keep on hitting the town center don't hit villagers unnecessary just hit the town center if you have villagers in excess start moving them start moving them you have a lot of food so start creating villages don't waste time start creating villages start hitting his villages because this is a very very risky move so you can just sit idle and wait to hit his town center the more villages you kill the better it is for you let's let's look at his uh, villager count it's 30 so it's much more than yours okay it's much more he has a lot of villages over here he's even built a barrack and he's going to bring units out so you have to be very active you have to be very very active I'll remove fog of war and show you what's going on in my base there you can see I'm collecting food I'm collecting wood there are around around 10 people 8 people in my base and in his base well I have to start collecting wood I have to start even collecting food soon so meanwhile you will have to make sure that you're killing his villagers you're killing his town center you can see he is gone a feudal he's starting his wheelbarrow research he's hitting an archery range because he's going to hurt me he wants to hurt me even a human player would, would do that but you have to finish his town center ASAP now his town center is not even attacking you so you have to finish his town center really quick there you can see he's giving his farms and all his research wheelbarrow almost can you kill the town center before the wheelbarrow is researched <laughs> that will be really bad okay oh boy wheelbarrow is researched it's creating villages which is not good he has 28 villages compared to how many do you have you have 27 so now you're at par he's bring out some skirms you still have to keep a lot of villages inside and make sure that you are hitting him meanwhile I've brought out a few spearmen I've created a base over here I'm gonna mine some stone you have to be very active you can't just sit idle you know you have to be very active he's going to create army he doesn't have a town center to make villages he doesn't have enough wood to make another town center. so it's very important you know to not let him collect wood because if he can collect wood he can make another town center so don't let him collect wood as simple as that don't let him collect wood so you can see I'm making a lot of villages I'm collecting wood and uh, I'm making army I am making spearmen so that's a good thing that's a good thing to do He's fighting my army he's wasting time let's see I'm gonna pass forward a bit 
I have to collect food, I've started farming. I have to make a blacksmith because I have to upgrade my army. I still have villagers queued in, you know. This is stupid, he's sending villagers. I've got rid of his lumber camp. So he's just losing villagers. See, he's just losing villagers. He still hasn't got a town center. I think the best idea would have been if he had created a new town center over here. So he is not doing that. That's not smart. I've created my blacksmith. I'm going to create some more units from archery. And I still have villages queued in. You have to slowly release this village. As you can see, I have two queued in now, just in case he comes in. What am I doing in my base? Well. I'm just cutting wood. I'm just cutting wood in my base. Nothing else. That's all. What is he doing? He's creating a bit of army. He's basically confused of what to do. But uh, yeah, he's fighting my spearmen. So that's not a smart thing to do. But you can't help it. You have to fight to survive. You have to fight. Am I creating any army right now? I have to. I have to. I'm getting scums out. I'm getting archers out. And uh, while you're at it, it's good to make a watchtower. You're mining stones, so you better create a watchtower. And this is, this arrangement is just to make sure that he doesn't come to me. I'm just blocking him. I'm sure you can play better than this. This is just a this is just a game or just a guide on how to play. It could have been much, much better. You had to finish the computer within 25 minutes. You have 38, computer is 22. You can see he's making scums unnecessarily and uh, he still hasn't got a town center up, which is not good. Which is not good enough. I have a watchtower now, he can't collect wood over here. He has to start moving to somewhere else. He can't come over here. I've taken over this area. Well now you can see that you know I have a very decent base. I can concentrate on gold. I can concentrate on stone. I'm gonna get one more watchtower up. I'm gonna start hitting his buildings. And the computer still hasn't got a watch. A town center up so that's not good that's not good if you're a human player by now you should have your town center up somewhere over here or maybe even here next to the gold you need to recover you just need to recover you need to fight it out i'll have two watchtowers over here so i'm sure he won't be able to cut any more wood he's collecting wood over here walking towards this lumber camp and depositing wood and even getting cut down by the watchtower so so this is this is bad. This is bad for the computer. And started attacking his villages with my scums. It's almost game over. I have to say, it's almost game over. What he's going to do? Has he scouted his base? Has he scouted the map? He has scouted the map. Look at that. Brilliant scouting. But where can he move to? He should have moved to a different base a long time back. You know, forget. If you get rushed by the Persians, the best thing to do is to leave your base, walk to somewhere else, and get up your town center as fast as possible. Because if you don't do that, you're not making villages. If you don't make villages, you can't progress, right? So, yeah. So it's game over. You can see he's got eight villages now. It's, it's just game over. And uh, that's how we do it. That's how you do a uh, town center rush. I'm making a market. I don't know why, but <laughs> maybe I'm trying to go to Castle Age. I probably have gone to Castle Age already. Yes, I'm just starting my Castle Age research. I know it's game over. I won the game. But uh, but yeah, I could have been better. There you see the computer resigns, and that's how you do a town center rush with Persians, or probably the brush. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a unique way of beating your enemy. So, hope you guys learned something from this video. And I'm sure, I'm sure you're going to do better than this. Uh, because I think this was a bit sloppy. I waited 
a long time with my villagers over here in space. I shouldn't have done that. And uh, if you're a human player and you're being rushed like that, I think it's better you wall it. You start walling your base. Start hitting his villagers, harassing him because you know that he's going to lose his town center, right? He's going to lose his town center. So once he's lost his town center, he has put down a town center as soon as possible. And if you can't do that, then it's bad for him. And you are close to your town center, so you know you can take all the risks. But he is taking a huge risk. He's made ten villagers walk all over the map from his side to this side, and he's lost a valuable time in collecting resources and other things, you know. So it's a very, very, very risky move to make. Uh, a very risky strategy, but if you can execute it well, if you are good at it, if you have practiced it a lot, then I think you can do a good job. So yeah, that's that. I uh, hope you guys uh, liked it. You know, So please, please, please subscribe to my channel, show some love, put a few comments. If you hate it, just dislike the video, you know, and just tell me how can I make it better and uh, help me out, you know. So you guys have a great time. Take care. Bye-bye. And God bless.